care of some business now. Uh, some new food to chow down on this season at Great American Ballpark, including Taste of Belgium's new Red Velvet Waffle. Velvet? Velvet. Uh, but that's not the only fun thing the restaurant is doing for opening day. And right here, my buddy, to tell us more, uh, the Rookwood Locations Manager, Andrew Maloney. Hi, good morning. How you doing, good buddy? morning. I'm good, I'm good. Good to see you, good pal. To see you too. It's okay. been hard to concentrate for the past like 20 minutes because you've been cooking these up and it smells so good. Yeah, I've been with the company about five years. This is my favorite waffle we've ever done. That's saying something too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've done a, a lot, but this one right here takes the cake. Now, do you serve these at the restaurant and now they're going to be at the ballpark or are they specific these to are the ballpark? These exclusively at the ballpark. Okay, yeah, so nice. this is our red velvet waffle. Yeah. Um, describe it in great yeah, detail, what my friend. So contains. this is like if our waffle and uh, red velvet cake had a baby. Aww. This would be like it's their so love child. It's, it's so beautiful. And yeah. It's sad that I want to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to eat this baby. <laughs> I so, eat this baby. <laughs> That's the greatest thing ever said on television. It's okay. Made, so the dough goes on our waffle iron. Yeah. It's made specifically for the ballpark from Taste of Belgium. Uh, beet pro sugar, vinegar, red food coloring, um, everything that's in a red velvet cake in Is the waffle. In the waffle. Yeah. Oh man. And and then you said you're gonna you're gonna top it. Yeah. What's what's gonna with go on top? Cream cheese. We have whipped cream. House made cream cheese whipped cream. I'm having yeah. a hard time speaking so, right now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So. How, what's the experience been like for Taste of Belgium to be down in the ballpark? Yeah. I mean, obviously things are going well because now you're creating you know new items. Yeah. You it's know, down there. It's incredible actually. I think it um. We've grown so fast as a company where it yeah. feels like we're finally becoming a Cincinnati staple yeah. to be at the ballpark with Frisch's and Skyline yeah. and Montgomery. And um, it's really great. And it's really great to be a part of that success of the company. Well, and I mean, yeah, like you said, the, the companies that are allowed in the ballpark, they are big time staples. So this yeah. means you guys are, we know you've made it big time, yeah. you know, uh, around the tri-state, but to be in the ballpark is very special. And I think that's something unusual that fans are really going to love. They're going to line up for that. I think. Yeah, I think something red to get the ballpark for kids. It's a great thing, even yeah. for adults, too. Oh, yeah. yeah tell a me nice about the beverage adults. to get a red velvet uh, How are things going at the, at the Rookwood location, and, and is there going to be more expansion? Is there is talk of that happening? Yeah, so Rookwood's great. Uh, we opened in July last year, and uh, this coming July we open at the Banks. Oh, so, there'll be another one. Yeah, Rock we'll on. be at the new GE building. Okay. Now, um, for people who haven't been to Taste of Belgium and they hear a lot about the waffles, you do a lot more than waffles as well. Tell us about some of the other items you find on your menu. Yeah, well, a lot of people don't know we offer dinner as well. So we have um, full dinner menu, burgers, chicken, uh, mussels. Our mussels are incredible. Oh, cool. Um, oh, there's some footage, yeah. Yeah, and for the adults out there, we have Rookwood has 24 draft beers, Clifton has 24 draft beers, plus over 70 in the bottle and can. And I hear well. you're supposed to call it waffles and chicken, yes. not chicken and waffles, because the waffles are the the highlight of the dish. The waffle came Harry first. Harry Shively told me that. The waffle came the first. The waffle came okay. first. Can we eat some of this? Yes, I'm We're dying. We're talking about it a lot. All We're right. killing some time. I gotta eat some of this stuff. So here we go. Here's the waffle. Okay. We'll do some of that whipped cream. Oh, yes. Coming out of there. Yes, sir. Oh, oh my. And then you know what? What's better? Oh, you're gonna, gonna you're some, make it even gotta better. Have, oh, yeah. you gotta have some sprinkles on that, don't Come you? Come on. Jen, uh, I'm going to give you the opportunity to take the first bite. I get the first I'm bite? Gonna that, I'm going to do that for you. There you go. And then once again, you can only taste this at the ballpark. Down at yeah. Great American Ballpark. All right. Oh and by the way, before we let before we let Andrew go, I want to say congratulations to you. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, City Beats Best of Cincinnati uh, edition just came out. Best local actor, this guy. So he's not just managing the Rookwood location of uh, Taste of Belgium. Living the dream. Uh, you, can, you can catch him on speakers yeah. throughout Cincinnati as well. So uh, thank you, buddy. We're going to try you. this a little yeah. bit. And then, so is it so good, Jen? Good. Is it so good? Oh, my goodness. It's so good. No, it's so good. <laughs> We're going to eat the rest of this during a commercial break. Thank you. We'll You're right welcome. Back. Thank you. Good to see you, buddy. Thanks. Good seeing you, too.